Hello there. This is a video to cover the parts of a research paper, both a regular research paper and a literature review paper. I'll give you the things I'm looking for and some of the guidelines that I'm expecting when you hand in the paper. So this will be for all classes, not necessarily just for stats, but it's also for physics, biomechanics, and, and could be for the uh, LAE 200 class as well. So there you are busy writing your paper and uh, you need to have a focus. So one of the things that uh, I do on Blackboard, and this will be for all classes, you'll have parts of a research paper, the research article assignment rubric and so on. And uh, the basic parts are this. This is for literature review. I'll explain what that is in a second. And parts of a research paper. Now the research paper can be a test. You can uh, do a, an actual uh, looking up data, collecting data. If you're in stats, you can do a, a, a correlation study. The big thing is to find a question. And that's also to uh, phrase your question into very simple form. I'm not looking for a dissertation, as I've said many times, to your boredom. But I'm looking for a question that you can answer. And the best thing to do is to always send me your question, see if it's fine, because nine times out of ten, and I'm serious about this, your question is much harder than you want it to be. In fact, if you did the research on your question, you'd be spending a lot of time, and you don't have a lot of time. This project is just for you to learn what it takes to write a research paper. It's a different bit of writing, a different, uh, a different type of writing. You've all done a article research review, the five, pay, uh, five articles and the five things you've written about them. So you've been exposed to some peer-reviewed journal articles. And so it's time for you to learn how to formulate and write something similar. If you have a hobby, interest, your job, you can always connect that as well. So the question is always the biggest thing. So you can do a regular research paper, which means that, like I said, you find data and you make a corresponding connection. But most of you will probably do a literature search, uh, a literature review paper, I mean. And that's a little bit different. You're, what you do is you find lots of articles. And uh, I don't know how, what lots is. It depends on your question. It depends on your uh, what you want to find out. So uh, like all papers, it, it takes the, the, the fact that you have to go to a database and find you know, the literature, which is peer-reviewed articles, not, journal, uh, not uh, um, uh, newspaper or uh, magazine articles, but peer-reviewed journal articles, and you come up with possible sides. So let's say you want to see if a certain type of therapy is good for students of with, uh, with autism in school, something like that. Well, you say the question is, does this uh, brand X type of therapy make students more aware in schools? Uh, and you can be specific in the elementary school, something like that. So you have to find all of the literature that's connected to that. It may be 10 articles, maybe 15 articles. In fact, if you looked at some, they, they can go up to 50, 100 articles. They research all of the articles in the past 30 years. I don't expect that from you, but I don't expect just two, three articles as well. Uh, I, you need to state your point. But I also stress that you may want to find something that's on the opposite side just so you can have a balance. And then what you're going to do after reading all of that literature is you're going to say, okay, this is what I've come up with and this is my discussion and conclusion of what I've read. Okay, and based on the research that I've done. So it's similar, it's still type of research, but you're looking at literature that's been done before. You're not creating new literature. You're not creating new, a new uh, research uh, formula. So this is going to be for all things, but for the literature review paper is a title page, an abstract. I'll go into details in a second. Introduction, review of literature. This is going to be a little different from the regular research paper. This is going to be one section. Your introduction contains all the review. This is when you talk about it. Your methodology, where'd you get your articles? Okay, that's just a very short section. The results, if there are results, okay, if there are any numbers that you found, you can do that as well. This is the big piece right here. This is your, uh, this is when you bring in your, uh, your, your ideas and what you've found. References, always in APA format. So let me go into more details. Now, this is if this is a regular research paper where, let's say, you went out and interviewed or you did some uh, survey of people to see if they prefer brand X over brand Y, and you compared and contrasted, or else you did some other type of stats, you can do that as well. Or you have some database that you want to go to, maybe the Census Bureau, and you want to compare and see if people who uh, have a, a, there's a tendency for people who have asthma, 
are they in poverty? Uh, the people with in poverty have higher asthma rates. There's an easy question. You could go on the uh, Census Bureau, find 50 states, their asthma rates, average asthma rates, and you can also the 50 states poverty rates and make an XY graph and do a, a, a relationship study, correlation study, see if there's a correlation. If there isn't, then you can say your data didn't do that. Doesn't mean it's wrong. Remember, correlation doesn't mean causation. By the way, quick note, you're not trying to prove anything. You're just trying to support a statement, okay? You're not proving anything when at that level here. So this is the rubric for all papers. Five points for your title. Make a good title. It could be a question. It can be design and training. It could be just like a literature search of. Uh, that this is usually a, a, a typical research question. You might have seen that before. The, they name a new uh, brand X, and it does this. Abstract. This is the last thing you write. Okay, it's the last thing you write. It's ten points. This is like your your teaser. And in fact, if you did a literature search, you probably looked at the abstract first and said, "That looks interesting. That looks like crap. That looks boring. I don't want to do it." Or that looks really good. I'm going to use it and read a little bit further. In fact, most of you probably read the abstract more than you read the other twenty pages of the paper. Introduction. Now, remember, in a literature search, a literature review, sorry, this is in this section as well. If you did a regular research paper, you're just you're you're doing the review of current literature as well. Okay, so it'll be shorter for those who do a research project than those who do a literature review. A literature review. This will be a big section. This is where you put your all your literature and so on. Okay, your methods, you can read that. There are two types of methods, a review of the literature here or a statistical experiment. If you did a statistical experiment, you should explain what you did and how you collected data just to uh, show that it was fair and it was random. And if you have any sheets or anything like that that you made for collecting data, you can put that at the end in the appendix. Results, um, this is especially for those who have, a, uh, uh, who have used graphs and tables. And cost profits, whatever uh, I mean, and whatever you use, it goes in this section. That's twenty points as well. For a literature search, um, you can uh, this just put the word results, and then you can write a sentence or two. It's not as big because you don't have data unless you found data and you want to make a point with the data. Conclusion discussion, as I mentioned, it's it's very big. This is where your decision making comes. This is show show me that you're smart. All of you, each one of you, will know more about this subject than me, unless it's about uh, music and theater and baseball. But uh, you'll know more about this. In fact, some of the questions that you ask or you send by me are really interesting, and I'd like to know. So tell me this story. If you give me just four or five sentences on this, you know you're going to be in trouble. But I'm not looking for 22 pages either. The references. This has to be references in, uh, in, in all of the things that you do. So citations. Okay? Please pass it on due date. That's how you get all the points. Here's a big one. APA format for citations in the paper and references. So all of these will be in APA format. And those and all of you, no matter what type of paper you do, will have a literature. And so you cite your, your page. If you're not sure, there are plenty of play, uh, sites that you can go to to find the uh, proper way of citations in APA. In APA sorry. And if you have Microsoft Word, you can just find it and highlight it, and it'll put it in APA format. I have never done that before because I usually just do it myself, but apparently there are some ways to do it. So you can find that. You can YouTube that procedure as well. Um, there's a uh, there's a strict rule of plagiarism, so just don't copy and paste. And or, or you, but if you're going to use other people's work, always cite. It's not plagiarism if you are quoting someone from another paper, as long as you cite where it is. Even newspapers and and even TV when they use another, uh, say like you're watching a sports program or or highlights. At the end, they'll show where all the people have uh, or other stations or. Uh, if, if you watch ESPN at the end, they'll say NBC Sports or CBS Sports. So they cite too because it's a matter of, of professional courtesy, but it's also plagiarism. 12 point type Roman, written in formal style. What does that mean? Formal style means not in the first person. So please, 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 not in the first person. Do not write, I took a paper and went to the mall and asked people. No, you write in the third person. Okay? I always do. This is a very big thing because some people will write a paper that's very close and dear to them. Maybe it's a story about uh, breast cancer research because they had relatives who suffered from the disease and they'll make it personal. You have to be objective. That's what a research paper is. Stand back. Stand back and tell me the story. 
and then finally correct grammar and usage so the big thing is here this is how you can get your points but please don't forget write in the third person and uh, use the APA format pass it on time and here's another key thing final thing and I'll shut up uh, don't be afraid to send me drafts not on the day it's due or the day before or the night before but send me drafts you know send me a, a couple of pages is this what you want uh, and then uh, that's that's fine I, I lied I do have one more thing to say I don't need I, I don't have page limits in other words I need a or page minimums I need a 20 page paper or 50 page paper although this is the type of paper you don't want to pass in with just two but make your point make it make it tersely but make it clear tell me what you found out tell me what you know find something that's interesting because if you're bored with this subject I'm gonna be bored and I don't like being bored because then I get cranky and I don't give points then you wonder why you didn't do as well it's because I was bored and asleep when I was grading it okay again if you have any questions please let me know and by the way yeah, I keep lying send it to the Karen at usm.main.edu address uh, the, that way I will get it and I can always verify that I got it and let me know. Have fun.